Hey guys, so I'm sure that you all love the game uh, The Powder Toy, or at least that's why you're watching this video, hopefully, uh, you know what this is, but there's a lot of user-created mods for this, and today I'm here to show you how you can use them. So first, you're going to want to just Google uh, The Powder Toy mods. Now the Powder Toy, the actual website, has a collection of mods right here. It's the mod collection. <laughs> All right. And once we're in here, it kind of it's like a wiki page, as you can see in the address bar, and it just has like tons of mods listed with different things they do. Uh, you know, so here we go. We can scroll down. And you, as you can see, there's lots of new elements added by each different mod, new features. So I'm going to show you how to get this one, Vandium's Fork. Um, so right here, you'll see the links. Since I'm using Windows, I'm going to use the Windows link, of course. It is a box download. You don't have to log in with a box account or anything. Um, it just is this little download link, and you're going to click this button that comes up right here. There you go. Download. Okay, now I'm just going to save this on my desktop. There we go. And we're going to open it up. Make sure you extract the files, that's important. Okay, now here we go. Now as you can see, it does include the Mac OS X, OS X files, the Mac files, um, even though we said Windows, I'm not really sure why, but you're going to want to open the window, the Van Fork 6 Win. And here we go, Van Fork. As you can see, there is a system error, and this does happen if you don't have a certain DLL file. And DLL files, they may be frustrating sometimes, but they are really easy to get, and I will show you how. We are going to go to the internet, and there is an amazing website. Let's see. It's called dlldump.com. dlldump.com. So, when we're here, you can just simply go into the search bar and find the uh, find a specific file you need. Now, the one we need was, let's see. As you can see right here, it says S, I mean msvcr100d.dll. So, msvcr. So we just go to this little Google custom search, msvcr100d, that's what it was called. Now this website is totally free and really awesome, so it'll find our missing .dll files. Uh, a .dll file, it's just a little file um, required for certain programs and for your system to run properly. Uh, this website does take a little bit of time to load. And while we're waiting for this to load, I want you to see the powder toy as it looks right now. As you can see, there's a whole lot of menus, and in the modded versions, you're not really going to see that as much. Um, hold on, I'm going to refresh this. So there's a whole lot of menus in here. And with the mods, there are some menus that you will not see here, and a lot of elements you will not see here. There will most likely be fewer menus. So it's really kind of what you want to do. You, I guess you can't have all of the elements that you want. Okay, as you see, the, uh, the page has loaded, and right here, this is a great link, msvcr100d.dll. 
And that is going to bring us to this page. Uh, you just want to press this little button, click here to download the DLL. Let's see. Click there. And I'll just save it on the desktop. And as you can see, it's right there. So let us go to our desktop. Now, as you can see, uh, if you open our modded version, it is still not going to work. What we need to do is find, oh, sorry. We need to find this DLL, copy it, and we need to stick it in the folder with all these. Now, we open Van Fork, boom. We have the modded version, and as you can see, there are fewer menus, uh, but there are new elements. And it says new versions available, but sometimes the updates don't work. But look, there's a whole lot of cool stuff, such as Sub-Zero Flames, or other different things. And so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial, and have fun.